Members of the LAPD Harbor Division marched alongside hundreds of protesters today in San Pedro, and Chief Michael Moore joined them. As CBS 2's Tom Wade shows us, the local NAACP chapter says Harbor Division officers reached out to them and asked how they could help heal divisions in the community. A march of unity and solidarity in San Pedro, and this time joining with protesters, LAPD Chief Michael Moore and members of the department's Harbor Division. This is too much. At times, it's been a binary issue of one versus the other, and, and that's not that at all. Law enforcement knows, and I recognize in this profession, that we have done wrong. There's been instances of failure, but there's been so many instances of progress, and, we, and, and as we recognize that, we know we've got much more to do. The president of the local NAACP chapter says it was hard Division's idea to march together. If we continue to lock um, horns and not hands with people, you know, or with the LAPD or with anybody, we are not going to get any resolution. Without unity, there's no peace. Harbor Division is very unique. We have a very close connection to our community. We'll walk with them. Although the vast majority of protests and rallies have been peaceful, some of the images we saw play out, especially last weekend, have left new scars. You know, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart on so many levels. I was here in 92 for the riots, and I saw our city burn. And as this has gone on and watching our city burn again, it's heartbreaking. It's disheartening that this is the country and the city that I love. And you have neighbor marching against neighbor, people getting into their little tribal units. Um, but the greater good, the greater humanity is coming out. The focus here is on the future and making change. Had to get up, wake up my son, because I'm marching for his, his, his future, my grandkids' future, because we want racism and looking at the color of somebody's skin not to be, not to prejudge them. This march and the others, it's pretty clear this movement continues to gain momentum. Tom Waite, CBS 2 News.